The Prime Minister admitting that politicians in the press have become too cozy and promising a massive investigation as the turmoil that has brought down one of the nation's oldest newspapers there is leading to arrests happening right now. ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman is in London with the latest. Jeffrey, this story just continues to unfold at a massive rate. It sure does, Elizabeth. This really is an earthquake here. Take a look at the morning papers here. The Daily Telegraph, goodbye, cruel world. Rupert Murdoch owns a bunch of papers here. His son, World's End, The Times, he also owns that, hacked to death. This scandal has rocked his media empire to the core. Today, the first casualty arising from the scandal, Andy Coulson, arrested. He was editor of the News of the World while reporters rampantly broke the law. Incredibly, he then became chief spokesman for Britain's prime minister. He too, now tarnished by this scandal. Isn't it time you said not that you take responsibility, but you screwed up? Well, I made a decision to employ Andy Coulson. He had resigned from the News of the World. He said at the time he didn't know what was happening on his watch. He should have known what was happening on his watch. He paid the price. He resigned. While 200 journalists will lose their jobs when the paper folds this weekend, not you Rebecca Brooks, even though she was the other editor during the era of dirty tricks. It's been reported that she offered her resignation over this, and in this situation, I would have taken it. Her famously outspoken boss, media mogul Rupert Murdoch, who is in Idaho this week, is standing by her. Do you walk this fast all the time? I knew it, I'm running away from you guys. <laughs> but Murdoch can't run away from the reality that his global empire has been exposed to rot so deep, so shocking, that despite its 168-year history, he is quickly shutting down the news of the world for good. It is perfectly clear that the news of the world, as owned and managed by Rupert Murdoch, was a criminal organization. The Sunday tabloid was hated by celebrities, politicians, even the royal for its relentless pursuit of sensational stories. Remember the Duchess of York caught trying to sell access to Prince Andrew? Soccer star David Beckham's secret affair. Stories that made it hugely popular with readers and hugely profitable for Murdoch. That all changed this week with revelations that the paper illegally hacked the voicemails of 4,000 people, not just celebrities, but also the families of a murdered teen, terrorist victims, and British soldiers who died abroad. Paul McMullen is a former reporter and editor at the paper. You had to get the story at all costs. They were, you know, what, what would you stop? Would you stop at doing anything to stop getting a story? No, you wouldn't. You would go and do anything. There's even breaking the law? Absolutely. There, there are even allegations that reporters at the News of the World bribe police to get scoops. By swiftly killing the paper, Murdoch may hope that the scandal will go away, but that is not likely. The indignation here is enormous. There are already criminal investigations underway, public inquiries to follow, and, Elizabeth, we can expect more casualties.